Live streaming is one of the best ways to connect with an audience. But if you've never live streamed before, it can be overwhelming. <coughs> hey there, I'm Kevin Colby, and this video is all about helping you get into live streaming. Hey, and by the way, when you're ready to go live, check out BeLive and see just how easy going live is. So when it comes to live streaming, there's really only four basics you need to worry about. A camera, a microphone, lights, and of course the internet. Let's start with audio. Yeah, I know that sounds weird, but believe it or not, the most important part of video is audio. And if they can't hear you, they're not gonna watch it. So it really comes down to two types of microphone, wireless and wired. What I would recommend is a wired microphone. You can get one that's called a USB. It plugs right into your computer and you got sound just like that. Let's talk cameras. Now, you could use the built-in camera on your laptop or computer. It's called the FaceTime camera. Another option is a webcam. They're really easy to use, really easy to set up, and they plug right into your computer. Now, if you want to take your camera, your video level up one more notch, consider a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. Now, some of those you'll need a capture card to connect it, and some, depending on the brand, you can use a USB cord and go right into your computer. Hey, by the way, if you wanna see how to turn your DSLR or mirrorless camera into a webcam, not a problem. Leave a comment and we'll make that video for you. And now, lights. Yeah, besides being able to hear you, we really need to see you. Now, if you don't have a lot of fancy lights, don't worry about it. Use natural light. Use the light from a window. Just make sure you're not standing in front of the window because all we'll get is just a silhouette. But you could also get just an inexpensive LED light or even a soft box light, and you don't need a bunch of them. Maybe just one will do, and that way you've got a really cool light to make you look better. And you'll need an internet connection to live stream. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious, for that. But here's what I mean. You really need to have the best, most stable internet connection as possible. Now, if you can hardwire it, meaning it goes right in like an ethernet cord or something like that, that's great. But just make sure if you have a Wi-Fi connection, it is the best, strongest Wi-Fi connection you can get at the time. And that's it. Those are the basic things to think about when you go live streaming. Your camera, your audio, the lights, and your internet connection. <laughs> it's not really that hard. By the way, if you have any questions, make sure you ask them in the comments and like this video and consider subscribing too. Hey, speaking of live streaming, check out one of these other videos for more tips and ways to do more with live streaming. We'll see you in the next video.